I think Mask still, is the only more? one. That's good. Everybody else. If you can, you right-click each person's name and raise their. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you could crank them up. Crank us up, DJ. Okay. How's that? Hi. Testing. Testing. Um, testing. Crank drop. Try again. Okay. Hi. Hello, everyone. How's that sound? That sounds much better. Okay. So, but, can I get us started with a donation? Sure. Should I start the run, though? Um, let me just, I'm listening for one more second. Okay. RDD, can you talk again? Hi. Hello. Buenos dias. Boa tarde. Can you turn RDD all the way up to 200% or is it already there? It is already there. Okay. Hold on, I can turn it. Up. There we go. Yeah, I'm really quiet. I apologize. RDD, just deep, a deep voice, like really strong. Okay, deep breaths. So I can't. Really I can't do that, man. <laughs> I bet you can. <laughs> no. Like. Okay. Is that better? <laughs> Try one more time, RDD. Okay, hi. Uh, this is... I, like, I can't really do deep voices very much. It's weird. <laughs> That's much better. We're good. Okay, cool. Okay. So I got a $50 donation by Walknut. Hold, hold on and a second. Let's says... get the run going first. Let's get the run going. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, so the... Uh... It starts when Rice Star's feet hit the ground in 1 1. It'll be about 4 seconds after I hit start here. And start. Donation time? Okay. So, $50 by Walkanut. He says, This song is just sizzling hot. This goes towards whatever Good Paul RK wants. Yeah, shout outs to that remix. That Yu Gi Oh! No matter what, man. <laughs> that was too good. So, there's a game going on. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't tell. We're so yeah, delayed here. This is, uh, this is Ristar. It's a Sega Genesis game, 1993, I think. One of the, one of the la later ones in the Genesis's lifetime, and therefore, much more refined than anything that you would see from the likes of Sonic, except for maybe Sonic 3 & Knuckles. But personally, I think it's the best Genesis game. I agree. This is one of my childhood favorites, and it, we, it's part of the reason why I started running it. We're also all like the top three runners of this game, and it's mostly what we run, so we might be a little biased. Um, I'm <laughs> I, I'm Liz Goddess. Uh, go ahead. And I'm Harem Scarum. Yep. And I'm Chubbis. Hey, it's Chubbis. Chubbis didn't sleep well last night, so we're going to be his mouth. Um, yep. <laughs> And caffeine. And <laughs> so the way that the game works is that you are Ristar. He's a tiny, he's a tiny star boy who has just very basic movements. He can move left, right. He can jump, and he can grab. And that's the whole point of the game. Oh, we just did log skip. So log skip. One of the things that you need to note about this game is that it's very difficult, specifically because of the skips that involve these poles that you see at the end of every level and sometimes in the middle of levels. Wristar can gain speed and launch himself and it is very difficult to control and if you control it just right sometimes you can skip through specific sections and that saves at like the best point upwards of 30 seconds. Yeah and there's a lot of different tech that goes into swinging from the poles like you'll notice whenever he lets go of a pole he turns into like a shooting star if you were to uh, press a while you're in that shooting star mode you'll actually keep your momentum and go flying but if you stay in star mode you'll slow down and won't go as far you'll notice we skip past it because we're like behind in both explanations and also oh yes um, how we're viewing it but Ristar, uh, well, Ristar's bosses are mostly just RNG, and there aren't too many uh, 
there isn't too much tech except for the very beginning, the very first boss, where you have to like bounce on him a lot. I call it assaulting the wizard. And then for a few other bosses later on in the run that we'll bring up. But it's mostly RNG. This game is very RNG heavy. Yes. Especially on the uh, next boss we're about to fight in Undertow, the planet that we're on right now, the water yep. planet. So, another thing this game does well is uh, water movement. Isn't that right, Chubbis? You were just talking about how much you love the water movement. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I yeah. just wouldn't love to test it. <laughs> um, it's way faster and more fluid than most like water movements in video games at the time. So that I feel is a uh, is a benefit to the game that it's not slow and just boring to drone. There isn't that much water, but uh, even when there is, it doesn't detract as much. As a kid, this is actually one of the reasons why I preferred Rystar over Sonic because in Sonic you just drown and go really slow, and this yep. you go really fast and swim. And you can't you don't need to breathe. You're you're a star. Yeah, you're from outer space. <laughs> Where's a starfish? Wait. <laughs> Wait, a starfish. <laughs> Get out. You run. Sorry. Down. Sorry about that. Where I start humor. Yeah. So every um every level, the way that it works is there's the first act and it has a mini boss. Then there's the second act and then there's the boss. Um, so you'll you'll notice with a lot of these mini bosses. There's uh, RNG heavy, like I mentioned, a lot of RNG, and also they're just slow. That's some of the worst parts in the game, uh, in my opinion, are the mini bosses, especially yeah. of Scorch, which is the next level. The the one we fought just a little bit ago also is kind of, it's it's literally just avoid a few attacks and that's it. So we're in Undertow two which is a linear level. Uh, this, you said, is like one of your favorite levels. You said this a long time ago, Chubbis, so I don't know if it's changed. <laughs> no, I still love it. You, you said you loved it because there's very little variance. Um, yeah. It's literally just a one-shot linear to the end situation. Um, there is some tech, for example, we just climbed up um, a, a room. We were supposed to wait for the water to rise, but... We're speedrunners. We don't need it. What is this waiting? waiting? Ugh. Gross. <laughs> hey, Master, do you want to talk about the glitch that you discovered in this level? Oh, yeah. This is awesome. I discovered this when I first started, like, really running this game. Um, the third mama squid that you fight, uh, you gotta chase down the three little baby squids, and on the third baby squid, he ran away from me and got behind the mama squid shell, and I like grabbed him and somehow recoiled and clipped back into the mama squid shell and went back into the room that you come from. I went like underground. It was terrible. We, we we've con we've theorized that you could use it to maybe gain like eight seconds. Maybe yeah. more than that, maybe like ten, but it, we literally can't even recreate it. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know how it happened, and I hope it never happens again in that room. <laughs> so we're at Osat, who is the number one uh, variance of RNG in this game. He can either give you the run or just completely uh, end the run, and I, I'm talking like thirty to forty seconds of variance. It's ridiculous. How's your RNG going, Chavis? Good. But then I missed a grab. I saw the fish. Yeah, I, I saw the one. grab. That was that was disappointing. Yeah. It's he, he has six attacks, and uh, the way it works is that he does, I believe, one at random. Except for the first two attacks are always the same. But then he does uh, the, one of the six at random. Three can be like he you can hit him on those attacks, and then three you have to wait. That was okay, RNG. Yeah, that was yeah, even, bad. Bad. even though you missed one of the grabs, it was still pretty good. Yeah, it's not too bad. We're going up to everyone's favorite level. <laughs> oh man, three two. I I Be hate kind. I hate Scorch so much. I love it. It's so <laughs> awful. You're That's weird. why I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, well, here's where the run dies. Time to reset. A lot of what I find is a big part of this game is um, health management. 
if you play really well, you don't have to worry about it as much. For me, I have to, uh, I, I often take, uh, damage in here and have to make sure to grab one of the health. Chubbis! Chubbis is doing really good. Let's see if you can get the... Oh, you did. So there's, like, a very, a very small frame window where you can jump over the lava flow, and, uh, it'll avoid taking damage. It's not that necessary, to be honest. It's kind of just... It's more for swag points. Yeah, that saves a, a second or I, so. I just want to second what JRTA Marathon and Walconut said. It would be awesome if we got the donation total to 5,000 during Ristar, Ristar, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, get those donations in. Get your donations those... in it and tell us which one is the correct pronunciation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I see I gotta work hard on that then. <laughs> <laughs> It's still up in the air what it, this game is called and we, how it's pronounced. We are we are like all in um, in disagreement with that because I call it Ristar. I call then... it both now. I just it just goes back and <laughs> forth. It's just like however I feel that day. <laughs> Chubbis does Ristar because he's a rising star. I just do Ristar because that's what I've always called it. I <laughs> there's no real reason. Even there's also a Reister. Yeah, there there's like Reister and like there's a lot of weird ones. Um, all right, so we're at Scorch Two. This is the hardest level in the game because it requires three very pre precise so uh, pole jumps. Chubb has got the first one. The second one, you have to go in between like really uh, tiny holes in the like in the ceiling, and uh, it will easily bounce you back. It, it's, it did it to him a few times. Oh, yeah. Yep. There's a couple little spots where you can get stuck in a hole and just bounce back and forth infinitely, and it's just, it's wonderful. <laughs> it, is, it is fun. I love doing that. Um, he got it third try, which is good. still good. Good job. Yay! <laughs> it well, went, uh, the, not great, but it's not the, terrible. The third, the third, um, third one also didn't go that great. Basically, yeah, you want to bounce. So with the with the poles, what you do is you spin on it, and then you go into what I call star mode, where you move basically really fast, and it's really hard to control. And if you press A, you go faster but lose your control, and you just go in that direction. And then also, if you bounce, you gain like a tiny bit of time for star mode. So. What you want to do for some uh, pole jumps is to bounce along the ceilings and the walls. However, some walls and ceilings, like in Scorch, are very like segmented, so they can easily bounce back. Right. So basically, you want to press A during star mode for speed, and you want to just bounce all over the place for distance. Exactly. That's a good sum of it, summary of it. I got a $50 donation by Keelix. This is hey. hey, Chubus and team. Let's make it to five thousand dollars. Good luck on the runs. Hey, thanks, Q. That's awesome. Thanks, bud. He's a he's kind of newer, but he's he's really taken to to Ristar. If you want to um, join us and like look into speedrunning this game, by the way, we have a great community and a great uh, Discord. We talk about it all the time. Uh, so just drop one of us a line, and uh, we'll, we can send you a link. Most definitely. We're, we're very, we're very friendly. We don't bite unless you ask for it. Chubbis might. I'd watch out for <laughs> that. Guy. Chubbis might. Yeah. Depends on my mood. If, if, if the closer you get to uh, to a world record against him, the more the more rabid he gets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. He All always right. tells me before I before he goes to bed, he's like, "Yeah, don't sub 28." <laughs> I'm just like, okay. <laughs> Listen, man, I don't want to see you around these parts no more. <laughs> so, Sonata 1 is my personal favorite level, but it's also one of the hardest. It's either this or Scorch 2. The way it works is it has three uh, semi-difficult tricks. If you go as fast as you possibly can at the beginning, you get what we call the God Cycle. And uh, it is very easy to mess it up, because there's a lot of very like tiny things that will hit you, and if you get hit once, you, you can't go on. He did get the god cycle, so good job for that. The yeah. second one is to throw uh, the metronome on the ledge, and it's like a very 
It's not frame perfect, but it's only a few frames. And then the third one is the swing. Ah, uh, the swing. That's the best part of this whole game. Second best Ch part of this whole Chubb, game. Chubbis, you really need to tell us when to shut up so that, like, you can do this swing. I got it. <laughs> oh, you got it? Okay, good. <laughs> so, the way it works is, um, like I said, when you're in um, star mode, it's hard to control, but when you're not, you can basically not control yourself, but you can grab. So, what you want to do is you want to go just barely not into star mode, so you'll go fast enough and launch yourself over the, the ledge and grab the metronome. And that saves, like, literally 45 seconds. It's ridiculous, but it is one of, if not the most difficult trick in the game. Oh, yes. That yeah. is... That it's is, for most the, people, the hardest. Yeah, it's a great source of my frustration in this mm -hmm. game and life. Hard thing to learn. Ten dollar donation by Sophia. Ooh, Sophie! Hey, Sophie! Cle clearly, the right pronunciation is Riz Star. Also, hey! good luck for Automaton oh, no. Escape, Chubus. In your face, Chubus. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Sophie. <laughs> Sophie's got my back. About the automaton skip, not the pronunciation. <laughs> you were wrong. <laughs> <laughs> got the ballerina grabs. Nice. nice. Oh, this in this level you want to um, make sure that you get just enough health because this is another one of those uh, where you need health to do a few extra speed tactics. And the beginning like two enemies are. Almost RNG, whether or not you'll be able to hit them or not. Yeah. Um, but by, by the time you start bouncing on the timpanies, you want at least three stars, and he got four, so he's fine. Yeah. Oh, you didn't go for the new strat, Chubbis. We didn't. <laughs> Chubbis, come on, man. <laughs> we uh, we recently discovered a strat that saves like two whole seconds, and it's incredibly impressive. Yeah, it is. This game is very, like... Chubbis is making this look easy. This is an easier game to pick up, but really difficult to master. And we have it, us three at the top, have it down really close, I feel. Um, although Masta and I just recently uh, crammed ourselves into the top. I'm one second behind Masta. Yeah, we're like neck and neck, me and Liz. I don't know how I pulled the 28, 39 out. That's... That is ridiculous. You, you saved like a minute. Yeah, before that, like I was some. getting 30, 31s, and then it's like, oh, here's a sub-29. What? Also, the, uh... used pizza? It Yeah, it's Reptar. We're going with that now. It's not Rystar, it's <laughs> Reptar. <laughs> halt! Halt! I am Rystar. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say something and now I can't remember. Oh right, the world record is just above uh, 28 minutes. And uh, it's been going consistently down, but for literally nine years, uh, Breakdown, who was one of the first people to run this game, had the had second place at like 28, 35, something like that. 44, 40, I think. 44, 40, yeah. Yeah, we those those were literally just beaten. Chubb has beat it like maybe two or three years ago, but they've just been beaten. So that's an incredibly impressive record to hold so well for nine years. I agree. This is my favorite music in the game. I love this music. Me too. And that's probably why this is your background on your stream. Yeah, actually, this is this is the background I use. It doesn't come with those. I don't know what those are. What do you think those are? Because they look like weird ice cream cone things. <laughs> Wait, in the background? Well, yeah, like. They... Yeah, I always thought they were ice cream cones. I can see that. What, what like ancient civilization would build ice cream cones that are that giant and not eat them? Good question. They're like, we have, we as a society have diabetes, but we really yeah. want ice cream. Yeah, I was about to say maybe they're lactose intolerant or something. I think to answer that question, we would have to replay La Molana again. <laughs> <laughs> So one of the one of my favorite uh, things in this game is the mini boss of the first level is this like little bully guy who uh, attacks you throughout the level. We went in a direction where you can't really see him that much, 
Uh, you only see him once, and he tries to knock, like, spikes into you. And then you see him at the boss, where you, you get into a snowball fight. And, uh, we'll see him later on in the game. It's just, like, a cute little storytelling thing, because, uh... I mean, as we all know, Ristar is the most in-depth storytelling game yeah, of all I mean, time. The, the <laughs> character development, I mean, it, yeah, right like, here in this stage. He's, he starts as a young, innocent star, but in the end becomes grizzled veteran. <laughs> yes, taking on the evils of the universe. <laughs> taking on the evils of Greedy, who in yes. the, in the, uh, in the manual, uh, his whole reason for taking over the universe is he hates fun and creativity and music. <laughs> and shooting stars, I guess. And Yeah, and just wants to rid, rid the universe of it. It's very in-depth. I... <laughs> we, we, we don't have enough time to go to talk about it. So yeah, reminder, Cassus B just posted in the chat, but donating right now on this block, you can get... Uh, sorry, let me restart that over. <laughs> <laughs> so, donating right now on this block, at least... Uh, twenty dollars. It puts you to enter for an AV Famicom. So twenty dollars or more, it's yours. Hopefully, I'll pray for really you. Bad eye slopes there. Yeah, I'm 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 behind, and I didn't want to call you out, but those were really not that good. <laughs> yeah. No. I, I hate this part of the run. It's the the way that the slopes work is that you'll just keep going in direction unless you jump and grab and by doing that you can cut down the time on the ice slopes but it will also cut your momentum so you can easily fall back down all right so one of the things as i mentioned there's a lot of rng this boss is the only one without like, basically any rng it's like he can either do four hops or three and that's it the yeah, rest of it is exactly the same Unless you mess up. If you yes. see what that little guy did there, oh, he did it earlier, I guess, in the live stream, but you throw curry in his mouth and he freaks out and goes flying. But if you were to throw the curry at him and miss, he will get off cycle and then it's just random. Yep. Also, we see the bully who's back and he's helping us. He's become our friend. Character development. Character development. And he waves goodbye. I assume you're you're there at this point, Chubbis. <laughs> Not quite. Oh no! I spoiled it. Everything's oh, ruined. No. Um, oh, in in the in the North American version, this guy's some kind of like weird melting abominable snowman, and uh, it's because in Japanese culture, uh, cats don't like spicy food, and they didn't think that us Bakugaijin would get it over in 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 the North Americas. I wouldn't have gotten it as a kid, but I get it. I, know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have, but I'd have loved it. Yeah. It's a cat. I'm yeah. not going to argue with a cat. I agree. That's way cooler. There's a few other differences between the Japanese and the North American version. Um, for example, in the first level, we'll see it coming up soon, there's like a tiny bit of a save in time because there's no animation. In the North American version, Ristar puts on these shoes, but they're not there in... Uh, the Japanese version, and then we skipped over talking about it, but the a mini boss in Sonata 1 uh, has these like m little uh, symbols that pop up telling you when they're about to uh, attack, and that makes it easier for you to hit them. Um, in the North American version, it's really difficult, so I pity anyone who speedruns the North yeah. American version. Yeah, you don't have symbols, so it's just <laughs> totally random. Yeah, I'm sorry, Cronin. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to use an emulator. Ooh, you got it, like, really quickly. Good job. Yeah, no, I liked it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so this this level has one of the more difficult tricks in the game uh, called Automaton Skip. It's like a one-frame grab uh, to just go through the wall, basically. Um, you can get stuck there for literally a minute, just slamming your head against the wall. Yeah. And it sucks because we're near the end of the run, and your run just, can just completely die there. We're at Commander Hat. I don't know why he has his name, but I love it. <laughs> he's the he's awesome. breakdown gave him, I think. Yeah, he's he's like the hardest, uh, by far the hardest mini boss, but one of the hardest bosses for uh, beginner speedrun speedrunners. 
it's just harder to get his patterns down. Yeah, and like the helix pattern that he does, his hitbox doesn't spawn whenever he comes all the way down. It's really weird. Yeah, he's yeah, just kind of, a, kind of a confusing boss. So, Automaton 2 is uh, just room after room where you try and activate the teleporter, or the teleporter's already activated and you go on through. It's just gauntlet after gauntlet of uh, challenges. Now, something fun that we discovered recently was a, uh, a glitch where in any rooms with the moving platforms, if you have them push you into the teleporter, they also push you out of the, like, out the side and you can instantly cause the game to go, oh, you beat the level. However, it also crashes the game if you, like, mash start. Otherwise, if you don't mash start, it will uh, just teleport you first and you just have the ending level music playing forever and ever. Yeah, the way they designed the levels to end in this game, um, every level up to this point has just been, like, open until you get to the very end of the stage and then you walk off the stage, like, walk off the screen and the level ends. So the trigger is, like, off screen. And this is the only level where you're, like, in a room. So if you can find a way to get out of bounds by pushing yourself with one of those blocks through a teleporter, then you'll trigger that in level end code or whatever, and the game will be like, oh, you beat the level. You guys only have a few more minutes to set what is actually how is actually pronounced Restart, which I believe it's Restart. <laughs> it's, I mean... So, there's a guy called the Gaming Historian who interviewed Sega employees and, uh, like, people who worked on the game, and they don't even have a concise <laughs> answer. <laughs> like, That's some of them said Ristar, some of them said Rystar, one person said Restart, so it, it could be whatever you want. You can call it game, for all that matters. Game. <laughs> Starman. Star. I think Reptar is pretty good. I, yeah, like, I, like, I like Reptar. I like Reptar and Restar. <laughs> Those are my favorites. Greedy, hungry. Greed, greed, want, greed, want, eat. You guys remember that one? Oh. All right, we're coming up to the beginning, um, like gauntlet of the game, or the final gauntlet, I should say. Uh, basically, wait, what was that? Are, we're playing gauntlet now. Aaron, I'm sorry. Go harem. on. <laughs> harem, harem plus... It's Richter? Oh, I like that. Richter? <laughs> the, uh, the, the final gauntlet of the game is just boss after boss with, like, a tiny level in between. Um, the, the guy who throws the, the bolts and who jumps around like a madman throwing Hadoukens at you, uh, basically... One of the things that Ristar has is anytime he grabs, he has just a tiny bit of invulnerability frames. And, uh, forgive me, but you have to get inside of him and grab up. And, uh, that will allow you to beat him way faster. Otherwise, you just keep having recoil knock you back. Oh, we didn't even talk about the, uh, recoil canceling. Oh, yeah. Um, well, that's, that's coming up in the next boss, too. Yeah, so. most definitely. That was closer than it needed to be. Yeah, I was about to say, that please really do close. not die to her and him. This is actually the only boss with zero RNG. It's all deterministic based on your positioning. Yep. Which basically makes it RNG, because you have to, like, memorize where what he'll do based on where you are. Exactly. If you play it like me, it's RNG, because I don't know what I'm doing on this boss. Yeah. Yeah, if you're not consistent with your movements, as soon as you, you change it, uh, your positioning, it just changes all the patterns, so it might as well be RNG once you mess it up. <laughs> right. So, the next boss, Ionosis, uh, also, he's inside a robot called Ibar, so we call it Ibar. Um, Ibar has an... Uh, he, the way he works is that you, uh, you just keep attacking him over and over again. If you wait or try and dodge his movements, you just waste time. Uh, like I said, you have invulnerability frames, so a lot of his attacks will just move through you if you attack him non-stop. However, 
it still feels a little slow, and that's where we go into uh, knockback canceling. If, while in the air, after a knockback, you grab down and to the right, like if you're getting knockback left, or down to the left if you're getting knockback right, you cut your recoil in half, and you can just continue to wail on Ivar. Yeah, you'll notice him after he grabs Ivar each time, he's going to do a little grab at the ground, and that's how he's canceling his recoil from grabbing Ibar the first time. Another thing to note about Ibar is his laser cannon, which any time he brings it up, uh, he cannot be hurt. So that just wastes time, and you want to kill him as quickly as possible before he brings it down. You can bring it down like three times, and it wastes a lot of time. Yeah. We're at Greedy, guys. We're, we're, in, we're at the end. Greedy, the RNG king. Greedy is so difficult if you don't know what you're doing. He's all RNG for the first bit, but then the last half is the same every time. So, uh, you just gotta get used to... Because he, he's RNG, but he does have patterns. How are you doing on, on Greedy, uh, Kevin's? Uh, not great. Oh. <laughs> That's a good answer. <laughs> Mm, the orbs at the beginning are lovely. If they don't give you good patterns, they can just like float up to the top of the screen where you can't hit them, and sometimes they'll just stay up there. But and sometimes when they you'll do hit give them. you a good pattern, it, oh, it's, yeah. it feels so good to just bounce. Coming up on time here. And. Time. Yay! Nice. Was it like a 29 something or another? Yeah, what was, it, what was the final time? I'm waiting. Looks like uh, 2910. Nice. Yay! That's, that's pretty that's good. good Congrats. Thanks. Yeah, that was fun. Nice run. Thanks for having Bill. us. And if, if you're interested, uh, hit us a, hit us a line. We'll we'll show you how to play this game. Yeah, message any of us. If you want to join the Discord, we'll get you in there. We'll get you set up. If you want to speedrun this game, or if you just want to come and hang out, you know we like people. So just hit one of us up. Speak for yourself. Okay, fine. I like people. <laughs> yeah. yeah, thanks for having me, guys. I had a good time. Thank you for Absolutely. running. Thank you. All right. Uh, we'll go ahead and get the next game set up.